Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our journey into the legendary blind playthrough on Grandmaster uh, difficulty and no legendary difficulty and Grandmaster mode enable. Time for us to this time not mess up our requisition. We want a little bit more than the last time so three requisition points available here we got all of the ranged uh, weapons um, available and we got upgraded Linus and Zoe who can uh, hopefully do even better now got the um, abilities astral aim now which I want to test that should be very interesting and uh, Linus got herself uh, the warp speed biomancy which we can put onto a melee character to be even more awesome as stratagems uh, strength of the spirit uh, gate of infinity is good are we really going with topor i think we're instead going with quicksilver because i really like uh, that quicksilver uh, gives you two ap in a clutch a moment uh, that can come uh, in imp um, in important situations <clears throat> Do we have another stretch in here? No. I thought that we had another one researched, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Anyways, let's jump into the mission and give them a hard time. Planet classification. Third world. However, all archival data has been excised. Scan suggests a mass orbital bombardment has occurred. Even in the broken husk of Exterminatus, our enemy has a cruel wit indeed. We must return his jest with fire and vengeance. Good, and we shall do exactly that. Remember this time we need to kill nine enemies with ranged weapons, and that we shall do. Got one over here. And another C all the way over there. Wow, that is a huge map. Okay. Okay, so. I vaguely remember this map, and the last time that I played it, it was difficult. What is your will? But luckily we can Moving out. move quite a bit forward. I started to understand also when you're triggering a pack and when you don't trigger a pack. And if nothing is on the scan, then you can just move forward. Cool, only 15%? Yeah, very good. This minus 5% comes in super clutch. Huh? There was nothing on the radar. I bring death and decay. There was nothing on the radar suggesting that that would happen. Who are you, by the way? Uh, Bright Lord Terminator. I like it uh, that Nurgle's uh, Terminators are always a little bit more chubby. They bloat. Anyways, uh, so this guy has nine stun points. Targets an enemy undercover. You don't want to deal with that. Has a blight grenade that stinks as well. Gain auto first strike against any melee, in, uh, melee attack. Five points of damage. That's nasty. Hmm. Okay, well. Can't really argue with that. Unleash me. What we can do is shall we shall we go in or shall we let them come? 
Cause here's the deal. What is your will? These guys are currently down there. Hmm. Let me think that through. So we could move all the way to here. Which is a good place to keep cover. And then the Emperor's Light would reduce their ranged capabilities. So that's good. Also two of them are perched, meaning whatever they had going for themselves is gone. Um... Half cover into take that shot. Super good damage, by the way. I like it. Be careful. <clears throat> the Aegis shields us. We do have this Hailer school. Which I guess we could put in here. Is it worth uh, using a Halo Skull for one? You know what? It reduces damage, so might as well. And yeah, we're just playing it defensively this time. Okay, we did not take any damage though. Uh, that is incorrect, so I can do quite a bit of damage. Stupid grenade. Moves to the edge. Unleash me. We're moving to over here. And let's start hitting them. That plus support fire. He has half cover, but okay. My blade is yours. In an instant. Good. One hit. Power. Taking away his ranged weapon. Mwah. Another foul seed claimed. Vengeance! Another nice little crit. Wow. Very nice. Your orders? Ready. 
Look, uh, this time I think we're just going to give you the time of the day. And in order to reclaim some of these will points, that's the first kill. No match for the Emperor's Chosen! Standing ready. For the Emperor. One. Firing on Two. target. So we can still continue to wreak havoc. You have been judged. Your orders. This triggering potentially not, but who knows, right? Yes, Commander. Astral aim. We got enough will points, so might as well try that. Hundred percent crit chance. That's awesome. And we can armor break. We can stun, we can disable the melee weapon. Sure, let's use the disable of the melee weapon. I must sanctify my rounds. The skull is still there, right? Is the Mediskull still there? No, he's gone, which means his stupid ranged weapon would deal damage. How much is that? Three points. Because we could kill uh, him with that and teleportation strike, but that's a lot of... A lot of stuff used. I will fire when ready. That's acceptable damage. Yes, These wounds. Gratitude. Here. I have sanctified my round. Reloading. I sir. One, two. The foe bleeds. Good. And who should Dang. get the will points? Your I think orders. the uh, the medic should. Targets acquired. Lean is killed, then, and we are fully reloaded and back in business. Good job, guys. What is your will? Me. There is here. corruption brooding here. What is your will? A small service says cool. Helps us, purifies. You're among impurity. As ordered. 
We're getting closer. I am here to serve. Yeah, those Chaos uh, Marines really th uh, threw, uh, threw me off. That was a curveball. Wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Let alone three heavily armored uh, Chaos Space Marines. Let's await uh, the warp and see what it does. We'll point drain. Okay. Your orders? Taking position. Foul intruders. Yeah, there was no way to just bypass it, unfortunately. This way, out of sight. And the spitting. Commander, we've made contact with the enemy. Yeah, the spitting, uh, the spitting plant uh, will become yes, a problem. But uh, that is a problem that we will need to solve next turn. For this turn. We're going to just let them come. Okay. And focus completely I will hold them here. on the reinforcements. Okay, someone comes around. I think, again, this would be super helpful. For We can astral aim. We could astral aim and that means uh, this guy here. I have seen you. Hmm. That did absolutely nothing. I thought I could, despite not dealing damage, still kill his staff. Attack! Kill them all! Here's a good spot. Gods, watch over me. All right, bring it on. So to the unworthy. Moves over here. Firing now. It's this stupid guy. Unleash me.
Um, sure. Let's start hitting. Hey, let's go. You three deal with that for one turn. Very good. And then you will die with uh, support fire. I am the Empress Fury! My blade is yours. And we want to make sure that you definitely die. Yes, Commander. But he was chosen. What is your will? Very nice. Unfortunately, none of them can be stunned, so Raise it was a bit Emperor. of a waste by thinking about it. With alacrity. Nail. One down. Still got enough willpower to do theoretically this into this into this. Yeah, that's potentially asking a bit too much. Instead. Let's kill. This gives us back uh, the willpower. That's another kill. This is preparation, and I want some of our will points back. All right. So to the unworthy. Good. All reinforcements. Or the majority thereof. No, the actually all reinforcements killed. Clustering up. Good, we need to work around the reinforcements soon. My blade is yours. Taste my fury. Standing ready. In an instant. All right, one. Can't waste too much time here, so we need extra damage. Ah! I am the wrath of Xyphos. Three. 
14. I'm trying my best to not get in uh, range, but I think that will not work, so... At some point we will need to Action go there. Service. Firing on target. <laughs> Empty. Good, reloading. We are starting to move in. Let's kill. No demon shall avoid its fate. This is you guys. Uh, focus and enrage. Regaining an AP and positioning ourselves so that we can have a take of opportunity next turn. Unleash me. Yeah, we're just moving up to be fair, saving will points. Shouldn't cluster up. to here Cower. and that's a lot of hit points to chew through Support fire will kill him. Blessed ammunition depleted. Get his Vox staff. Very nice. What is this guy? Plague surgeon. S mutation effects. Can heal. That bad. Yes. We're just moving away so that the reinforcements are not hitting us. As you command. And we gotta kill one of these guys this turn, just to reduce the damage a bit. 
strike. I think we're better off getting you. I am his will. So that's hundred percent kill. I must sanctify my rounds. Next turn the bloom is down. But we're going to take a bit of damage this turn. Hobbled and weakened, really. Well, I guess you forgot that I do have medical skulls. It's neither the one nor the other. Standing ready. Your orders. My blade is ever ready. Vengeance! One. 26 hit points. It's just crazy. This will create support fire. Empty. Or not. Your command. Because we were empty. What is your will? Need to reload as well. Hit, support fire. Standing ready. Santo. Neil. Good. You will that ride. solves a huge Trail. problem of ours. Here. Moving out. Okay. Let's reduce their damage. Wow, the guy ref uh, resists a lot of afflictions. Interesting. Our path. Gliding through the wall. Good, we're moving to here. Instantly slaying this. We slay the darkness.
And let's just force strike him further. Okay, cool. Heal up. We good? My wrath is restored. Followed uh, with a nice little support fire. Very good. The enemy is wounded. I am here to serve. Firing now. By the way, uh, we still have stratagems. I have completely and utterly not used them this turn. Or not used them at all, that is. Ammo really? Praise the Emperor. So to the unworthy. We Good. strive. Moving into cover. Giving ourselves some armor to withstand whatever he is uh, going to do to us. And moving over here with Hobbit. Kill them. That was full cover, my dude. AKA, you did absolutely nothing. What is your will? Reloading. Okay, we're good to go. It will be done. Opening fire. I strike true. Opening fire. Very good. Nice little support fire here. I am here to serve. With alacrity. Your orders? And since we're hobbled, that wouldn't Sound make a lot of sense. Instead, let's hit. Unfortunately, no crit, which means we need to force strike him to death. We have purified this place. Very good. Well, this uh, the next one will be easier. Battlefield medicine. Good. My wrath is restored, brother. And we're even healing ourselves just in case. So now it's a matter of moving on. It's much better, by the way. Of course, high-level characters are always performing better than low-level characters, and in most of the games, the early game, most of the tactical games, uh, the early game is a bit more uh, difficult simply because you're running into enemies and you don't have a lot to work with. Moving out. 
We should be fine, there should be no one behind it, right? Your orders? Steady and surely we hunt them. Good. We're take we're taking the teleportation Unleash for sure. Me. But that's not going to happen now, that's going to happen next turn. Good, warp speed for you. That was a pre-buff. This should trigger. And you might ask yourself, whoa, Saikan, why would you do that? Hold on, hold on. We got the gate to infinity. So everybody starts with 3 AP from here. Uh, more crit chance and we're going all out on the plant let's see how good our melee attack is we're looking at decent uh, damage Commander. Astral aim is 170 crit. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Lovely. No, we're not tackling it. Good chance for 10 points of damage. Let's go. And it was 10 points of damage. Unbelievable. There's the support fire. My blade is ever ready. Excellent work, Come Cool. On. Withdraw your forces. Our initiates can tend to the leftover build. Oh yeah, baby. For the Emperor's chosen. That extra crit damage uh, buff isn't bad. You just need to use it at the right time. It's not bad at all. Good, and finally we got three uh, requisition. So, uh, this is neat, but we don't uh, use Psy Cannons. Level two blades. For five damage, more crit. Target suffers two damage. 50% chance, 2 damage at the end of uh, its turn. Hmm. 
It's not a bad blade. But I'm not sure. I mean, this unit has focus increase the chance to trigger autos. Mm. Do we have a lot of autos? Yeah, yes, we do have the warp auto. And we're going to get the autos for one AP um, hit in melee. It's not a bad blade. It's not a bad blade at all. Hmm. The focus is good. I don't like the affliction too much. I don't like the affliction too much. The. Yeah. Listen, I mean. Uh, the extra crit chance is nice, but unless we do have way more crit damage, I'm not sure if it is worth spending two requisition on it. This here is neat as well, autoloader. And terminator armor, extra armor, extra willpower. Immune to knockback from enemies of equal sum. Hmm. It's good armor. But I think we're okay. We have similarly good armors. I want kind of the high level or higher level stuff. And we got two promotions. Cool. So Jim here. The overrun was good uh, so far. I like the range. We just need to deal more stun damage with it. Uh, hobbled or more stun. We definitely upgrade the stun. Like that's a no-brainer. And now the question is, do we go for provoke? Because that was the other ability that I liked a lot. Up here, we got area attack. Down here, we got... Just generally melee weapons, force strike, armor break. Uh, yeah, but I, I think he's not so much of a melee damage dealer, to be fair. And we've upgraded all of uh, these abilities. Do we have something? Psy cannon. I want to let him. Let him be a better range damage dealer. Hmm. I can see how you could build him as such, but I think since he's a tank, why would you put him to the back line? He, uh, the Aegis really helps out a lot. And up here, Aegis would get even more charges, right? You can even like uber charge it with only one uh, will point. And this here is super helpful. I think I'm just building him further into that tank role. The hobble stuff, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Typically, enemies don't run super far away either. But that extra sun, that is good. So I'm happy with how the build has turned out. Um, next up, I think we're going to go... Since I want to go into Provoke, I need to get that Aegis Discipline. Although this year, it would be cool if that upgrade would have been here and vice versa. Then you could have just jumped over. Um and provoke puts enraged there and we have this as skulls and it is good but i think i will take fortress i think i will take the fortress and i'm even thinking about going here and fortress Uh, this here gives us plus one on all autos. We have a passive here. We have an equipment here. The only auto was that. So this is a bit useless unless you are going for... 
Roos's precision and this, which would be a, a strange build, but okay, sure, you could do that, I suppose. So this year, more autos would have been helpful. This is a bit of a waste because that suggests you get like plus one of all on your uh, onto all of your autos and what exactly i mean ranged auto yeah what else do we have passive uh, eager's reaction can even trigger only once anyway so there isn't much more autos um listen this greater zone is good Well, this is bad either, but it costs more will points and typically those are sparse. I tend to use them over here. Uh, what I like uh, with Fortress is it's only one will point. Maybe I am actually going into here and Fortress. Um, the Provoke needs to stand the test of uh, time. I, I like more armor. Currently it's plus three, that here would be plus five. Uh, that's great. And with here, with this here, it would be plus eight. So that's not bad, not bad at all. Specifically, if you have a staff that does it automatically for you. All right, and then Anders. Um, I think uh, this is a super important one. We got crit damage and chance to crit, and the ruthless precision, which is. 50% chance to gain one AP. See, he could use that extra uh, one more auto thing, uh, enduring reflexes. And that I will include in the build because he does have auto here, he does have an auto ability here. And both of them are really, really good auto abilities. So Roos's precision, if we crit, it's good. And we want more crit damage. I'm not sure if I get uh, the 10% crit chance. Maybe I will. It's it's actually good. Why not? Sure. Um, but I first will get the uh, the melee crit, the actual melee crit. And then next up, we do have over here range upgrade, which is good. And the support fire is also an auto, so that is good as well. So I think next level will be ranged upgrade and support fire and then we're going enduring reflexes and melee discipline. What is all of this? Mm, that's, that's good. This and this. We could go next level 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. And then we still have the a uh, the war gear slot here, which I like. Gotta make hard decisions, but I think this support fire isn't too bad. Specifically, if you have plus two damage, that's like what four damage. Good, Enders is a monster. He's really good. Moving on to uh, the next to the next uh, mission, which leads us directly into the warp storm. Let's hope we're not getting hull damage again, because our hull can only take so much. Good. This is what we're going to do the next time. Uh, we're getting, getting two further requisition, which we can use in order to upgrade, of course. And we are going to get yet another Grimoire. The cool part about it is we have a lot of Grimoires now. I've almost researched everything. I don't know how to get to here for this knowledge is not yet discovered. This is the only chance uh, then afterwards to get to that knowledge. Maybe this year will free up all of those. We don't know. 
Okay, anyways, that's the end of today. Uh, make sure that you cleanse the like button. I heard there were a couple of bloom seeds um, right next to it. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.